Welcome to the Friday Fast. We are in the Advent season and we are fasting just like the early church did. They practiced fasting during the Advent season as we gear up, as we prepare for Christmas. And we are in a version reading plan on Advent this week talking about peace, the peace that Jesus brings. One of our readings this week is from Luke chapter 2. And it's actually uh, the story of the shepherds, something I'm going to be preaching about this Sunday, when the shepherds were visited by the angels and told about the birth of the Messiah. And in Luke chapter 2, verse 14, it says this, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Peace on earth. That does not exactly describe planet earth right now. I think the word pieces might be better. Everything seems to have fallen to pieces. There's chaos and confusion and division and anger. Kind of reminds me of the the old nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. You know, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Like 2020 feels like we've all had that great fall and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. In other words, uh, January 20th is not going to put everything back together again. A stimulus package is not going to put everything back together again. A vaccine is not going to put everything back together again. It's only Jesus that can put things back together and bring peace. See, the peace this world offers is really a peace that's like tolerance. Like we just tolerate one another. As long as I tolerate you and we're just not fighting, well, then we're at peace. But that's not the kind of peace that Jesus brings. Jesus brought peace that's about reconciliation. It's about healing and and bringing things together again. That's the kind of peace we're called to bring to people in this world. So the question I want us to wrestle with today is this. Am I leaving people in peace or am I leaving people in pieces? As followers of Jesus, we bring the peace of Jesus that this world so desperately needs.